All right, let's go. Larry King with a huge fuck up. Two nights ago, I believe. Joining Lawrence Silver with us now is Deborah Tate, Roman Polanski's former sister-in-law, the sister of the late Sharon Tate. On a personal note, I knew Sharon Tate had interviewed her a couple of months before a tragic murder. What do you want to see happen? I would like to see this whole thing go away. I think that uh, there's been a lot of time that is, has passed, and we need to bring it to an end. You ever talked to Roman Polanski? I have. Well, how can you have a civil conversation with someone who so brutally murdered your sister? <laughs> Roman didn't murder my sister. Oh, oh. Holy oh. shit! Jesus. Come on! Did I tell you? No fucking way he said that. Uh, That's what he said! Uh, somebody imitating Larry King. No, it was straight from the Dude, program. This, is, this could be worse than how important is the board. I'm that is... <laughs> Oh, I told you. I've ever not only Larry, I told dude, you. Dude, not only Larry King. That is the worst fuck up in broadcasting. I told you. Mm. How could anybody even think that? That's so brutally murdered. It was. <laughs> it was arguably one of the most. No, no, no it was one of the most <laughs> oh, famous man. murders of all time. Yes. And he would almost get away with it if he said murdered, but he had to really punch brutally, it up. Brutally yeah. murdered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Roman yeah. Polanski came into the house and just... I feel Holy that he stole the rights shit. to your sister's yeah. song, Helter Skelter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how he gets out of this. You have a civil conversation with someone who so brutally murdered your sister. Roman didn't murder my sister. No, I mean, well, I'm sorry, but <laughs> when, he, when he, the fact that he would have this terrible thing happen to him after the death of your sister, to once again focus you into the public light. That's what I meant. Uh, I, I don't have any, any problems with Roman whatsoever. That's not oh, what oh, you oh. meant. He was backpedaling, trying he, to get out he of just, that. He you said, okay, the, Anthony, you do hear the hamada, 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 Oh, hamada. my God. He just, he just goes, question one didn't work. I'll just say I meant question uh, two. Uh, that's what I meant. Uh, how about the fact where he's from? Met a horrible tragic end when, when Caesar was the. Uh, he's is he from Rome? No, no. How, how could you drink Folger's coffee <laughs> when she was murdered right next to your sister? Well, we got Larry King. He's gonna explain himself. Uh, Larry. Good morning, shit dicks. Hey, Larry. <laughs> hey, Larry. How important is it to get the right murderer? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Larry Ooh. King on line two. Larry! Charles Manson's a fine director. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! Larry! Jacqueline Onassis, how is your first husband doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Larry King on line three. Larry! Please. Larry! Yes, were well, you a fan of Charles Manson's movie? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I cannot... Dude, that you froze hear me. Bad. That made me freeze. Like, no, There's, that didn't. You couldn't happen. have asked that question. Look, we might have teased it for over an hour, but man, there's oh, your payoff. My Jesus. God, there's your payoff. And how, it's just it's the scar healing correctly. Yeah, how is She's the baby? Dead. <laughs> Who's raising the baby? <laughs> Who has custody of the baby? Oh, God damn. But his homina hit about what I really meant was uh, pay wow. a man who cheated on your sister with a young girl, right? That's what I meant. <laughs> no! How could you talk what? to him? No! <laughs> Want to hear it again? Oh, to see please. this whole thing go away, I think that uh, there's oh. been a lot of time that is has passed, and we need to bring it to an end. You ever talked to Roman Polanski? I have. Well, how can you have a civil conversation with someone who so brutally murdered your sister? Roman didn't murder my sister. No, I mean, well, I'm sorry, but <laughs> when, he, when he, the fact that he... What, what is the thing she's saying about... <laughs> what, what is she... What happened to... Oh. What's the brutal? What's the brutal? Mur like, what's the thing that she wants to come to an end? Yeah, yeah. I, I guess the fact that that um, th that the Polanski, well, the Polanski thing is still is, happening is still yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean the 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 one he had. Oh, she's just on here defending. Yeah, defending. Yeah, just Polanski leave him alone yeah, as as his. Uh, you know, cause, like the uh, the bitch is probably sixty now that he was yeah. fucking right. That was too young. Yeah, yeah. The bitch doesn't care anymore. Sharon Tate. She's she said in interviews she don't care anymore. Sharon Tate's sister did. is just like yeah, fucking uh, Roman Polanski. That's kind of what they were doing right. in Hollywood. It sounds like there was some shit going Holy on. Holy shit! Yeah. Uh, so she's just saying leave Roman alone. Yeah. And he says, "How can you, you talk to him?" <laughs> right. 
How could you talk to a man who so brutally killed six million Jews? <laughs> uh, no, what I meant was his brother. He went to France to get away from uh, prosecution here, and Hitler uh, invaded France, and that's what I meant. I confused him with Hitler. Sorry. Unbelievable. How do you? <laughs> what? How could you talk to Genghis Khan? <laughs> How could you talk to Khan when he so brutally <laughs> murdered everyone on regular one? <laughs> the regular space station. How could you? <laughs> when he put creatures in Chekhov's body. How do you speak with a man? Oh, creatures in Chekhov's body. <laughs> what an asshole! Oh. Creatures in Chekhov's body. Chekhov's body. How do you do that? Brain eaters. <laughs> I'm in Paul Winfield. That clip made the phones go dead. <laughs> it's fucking. That made the phones go dead. It's people are like stunning. just trying to put their tongues back in their mouths. Dude, I was I got like stunned. Yeah, like somebody hit me with a hammer. I, I pray they don't kick a I, that, Is that douche chills? It, oh, yeah, it that's surpassed a douche chills. When it did this happen? Like, a couple it, days ago. Yeah, like recently. And it's not like news? It's not news news? No, nope, wow. because it's Larry. It's Larry. Wow. He's been doing that. He's been fucking it up for a while. I pray they keep him on TV. <laughs> Don't take him oh, off TV. He killed hey, six million right. Jews and your, and your sister. And your sister. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. And poor Lacey and Connor Peterson. <laughs> How do you explain... Him taking that boat out and dumping them over the edge. Even if the context was right, why would you say that? <laughs> yeah. Like, even if this was the case, how can you... The question is, how could you... It's like, all right, talk to me, baby. Yeah. Go ahead, what you got to say? You want this to be over? Okay, keep going. But he said, even oh. if that was the right thing to say, it was wrong on every level... Wow. ...to say that. Wow. How can you talk to a guy that brutally killed your sister like brutally that? Brutally Cut a killed. baby out, man. What's up with that shit? Yeah. And what did you think about Steve Railsback's performance as Charles Manson <laughs> in that movie? <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we got Larry King on the Larry? line. Larry? He's had. He wants to defend himself. Larry. Mrs. Lincoln, how could you possibly drive a Model T knowing your husband was killed by Henry Ford. <laughs> that was Ford's theater, Larry King. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs>